Hello everybody, and my name is Isaiah Barros. I'm a professional psychologist under APRA, the Australian Health Practitioner Regulation Agency. So today, as you will notice, we are in a different angle in the room. I'm just trying to test out different angles to see if they look better, and I'm really liking it. I think the natural light is a lot better. So today, I'm going to talk about how can we apply for the 5 plus 1 program. Now, I tried to find as much information as possible for the 5 plus 1, but on the APRO website, it was a little bit limited, and I was a little bit surprised. So, um, if I do miss any information and you have done the 5 plus 1 or you're planning on it, please put it in the comments down below. We want to have an open discussion about this so other people that are interested in applying can learn as well. Now, I have gone through as much information as I can, um, and we're going to go through that today. So I just want to start off by saying, so the five plus one, it's when you do your three years of undergrad and then your one year of honors or postgraduate diploma, and then you do the master's of professional psychology. For you to go into the master of professional psychology, you, from my understanding, and again, please confirm this with, you know, a lecturer, someone that you know that is interested in applying and the university that you want to apply to, you apply for the master's and when you get in, you then apply for the provisional registration. So you already start the master's with your provisional registration from APRA. And so the process and the application would be a little bit different from the four plus two. But from my understanding, the university would help you out a little bit or just give you some guidance on what things you need to do. So we're gonna go through the logistics of the five plus one. You'll have required hours. So the required hours for psychological practice is 1,400 hours. So for this 1,400 hours, you will need to do a minimum of, for of 560 hours of direct client contact, which means you're speaking to the client, speaking to the client's parents, working with their other health, allied health professionals if they have some, like speech pathologists or occupational therapists. And then you will need to do a minimum of 820 hours of client-related work. The client-related work is report writing, reading about the client, finding information, more information regarding the client, making therapy plans. So within the four, this is a minimum of 1,400 hours that is separated to client contact and client related. Then you will need to do a minimum of 80 hours of supervision. You need to have one hour of supervision for every 17.5 hours of client related or client contact work. So if you're working full time, you then need to have two hours of supervision a week. Out of the 80 hours, minimum of 50 should be with the primary supervisor. And then the others could be secondary supervisor and other related, you know, group supervision, for example. Professional development. You'll need to do a minimum of 60 hours of professional development. So professional development includes any workshops, books that you're reading that relate to you know, psychology and the field. It also can be YouTube videos that relate to the field, seminars, um, even podcasts. Now, in all of these things, you will have a logbook that you can submit and write everything down. So one, you don't lose track, and so that they make sure that you're doing everything correctly. So four, you know, so the logbook counts all the supervision, all the client work that you do, and all of the professional development. For all the professional development, you will also need to relate the professional development with one of the eight core competencies by APRA. Now, because they are eight and I don't know them by head, by mind, I will put them in the comment section about in the description box. And there's also some links that you can read about, you know, what they are and from the APRA website as well. So when you do go to write down, you know, what you were learning, and what the workshop was about or what the book was about, you do need to keep in mind if it aligns with one of the eight core competencies. If it is a psychology book or if it is a psychology podcast or video, it most likely will, but it is really important that they can see that you really are trying to reach those goals. And so in the end, all the client work, all the supervision and all the professional development will end up being 1,540 hours with the one year. And lastly, you're going to have the case reports. So again, it was a little bit hard for me to find the specific number of case reports that you do need for the five plus one, but you will need to do four case studies. You're going to have to submit four case studies to your primary supervisor and two case studies will be intervention and then two case studies will be assessment related. 
and then you're going to send one intervention and one assessment related to APRA. You will also need to do, you know, ethical dilemma reports and working across the lifespan reports and working diverse group reports and through the psychometric testing. However, it was not specified on the website and I will also put that link below because if you do find something that I couldn't, trust me, I looked for hours, it was very difficult, <laughs> then um, you can also put it in the comment section below. I really hope that this video was helpful. It, it was really hard for me to find all the information needed because it was the, the layout of the form was a lot more difficult to read. I guess it was just less precise as the other ones that I've read. Um, and they had multiple of them, so I tried to go through all of them and try to write as much information as I could. But anyway, <laughs> just a little bit of a layout on what you can do and how you can go through the 5 plus 1 program, the things that you will require for the 5 plus 1 program, and just any other related questions. And please, if you have applied for the 5 plus 1 program, please comment down below on your experience um, and things that you have done. If you would like, I can also find somebody that's done a 5 plus 1 program and we can do a little collaboration video talking about the differences between the 4 plus 2 and the 5 plus 1. If that interests you, please also say that in the box below um, so I can find somebody. <laughs> but I really hope you have a great day and I'm really sorry again for the delayed video, but thank you so much for being so patient and awesome with this. Hope you have a great week. Bye!